I finally got a solar panel. It's a Dokio 200 watt. It came with a solar charger and it has two USB ports so it has a small inverter in there also. And it just um, clips onto my battery. I have them clipped onto my battery and it always says that it's 13.7 volts. So I don't know if that's measuring the volts of these batteries or what, but it's helping. And this is the inverter I got. It is a Guyandel pure sine wave inverter. It's 2000 watts and it has a remote. Okay, it has it has a place right there where you can hook it right up to your solar panel and it has two um, AC outlets and one USB port and I thought I could hook it up myself but I can't for one thing the wires are too short for what I where I want to put it and there's really nowhere to put it except in this cabinet because my batteries are down right under this so I guess I will have to lose that drawer and put it right there and I'm gonna need longer wires for that and somebody who knows how to do that I also need a ground wire this right here is for a ground wire I don't know anything about this stuff so I have to get somebody to do it for me this is the back of it so this is where these wires connect to but look how short they are and I know that they're supposed to be as short as possible but there's nowhere to put it they'd be right on top of the battery so I, I know that's not safe so uh, I will get expert advice on this as soon as possible check it out there's a bunch of people boating right there what are those kayaks that looks like fun don't it The river is so calm today. It still has a pretty strong current though. So I'll be praying for them for their be their safety. That they'll be able to come back. Hi! And here's two more. That is so cool. I'm out exploring today and and this is where I found a lot of those round rocks, and there's still a lot. I didn't bring my bag though because it's too hard on my knee to look at that. I wish I would have brought my bag. But I got a lot of these rocks anyhow. There was a lot here. Round flat rocks. This is like a little enchanted forest back here. I walked through here a couple days ago. I was like, dang. I'm sorry if it's shaking. There's a lot of little paths like this in this area by the river. It looks like another world. I bet that's really pretty when in the spring when it starts to bloom. I went down a little path that is really sandy and open. It's pretty cool. I can follow my step back so I don't have to worry about getting lost that's good it's like a whole other world over here wow some of the guys saw a snake last week so the snakes woke up so I gotta kind of be careful yeah Really gotta watch out for the little ones, I guess. Don't need to be dying out here. Looks like dried mud over here on the ground. I wonder if this used to be like underground. Cause it's so much sand. Hmm. 
not underground, underwater. Somebody left the orange tub right there. It's kind of creepy looking, actually. There's a lot of rocks right in this area, embedded in the sand. I don't need any more rocks. Not now. I got too many rocks as it is. As you can see, it's pretty dense through here. There's a path that I'm following, and I hope it comes out to the other road. Because I don't want to walk through that again. It's kind of creepy, really, because I know there's creatures. But I think I'll be okay. I see a lot of holes like this, too. Here's an interesting tree. It's got little brown balls all over it. First time I've seen this one. Look how green. The bamboo or whatever that is that is by the river is getting green leaves on it too. Isn't that something? Spring in February. Wow. Here's another tree and this one has yellow flowers. And little buds all over it. Cool. Looks like red ants busily making a hole for themselves. They're taking one grain of sand at a time out. Wow. Nope. It's a dead end. I gotta turn around. Dang it. Oh well. It's alright. And I just want to show you the new thing I'm doing with rocks. I have found so many of these flat, smooth rocks here that I decided to write Bible verses and messages from God on them. This one says, Jesus died for you because he loves you. And this is a Bible verse from Psalms, I think. I can't read it through the camera. And, um, yeah, I got a whole bunch of them. Yeah, I'm a rockhead. Some people are rock hounds. I'm a rock kid. So I'm going to write Bible verses on these and messages from God. You know, the Bible says that if we fail to praise him, that the rocks will cry out. So, these rocks are going to cry out. Hey everybody, it's Monday, February 18th, I think, um, President's Day. And I have had a change of plans with my inverter. Um... We have a new couple here camping with us, and the guy is retired from Renegy, I think. And he came and looked at my inverter. He was going to install it for me, and he told me that it was the wrong thing to do, that that inverter would just drain my battery and would cause me more trouble than anything else. So, instead, he is going to install a 12-volt plug with... um with uh, two USB ports and so I got to get a 12 volt adapter for my computer and I'm going to send the inverter back that was $250 that I could spend somewhere else so that'll be good he's going to run the wire through here this is my dinette um, thing and he's going to run it through there and the plug will be on the outside over here now I'm not guaranteeing I'm going to tape him doing it because um, I really don't like to do that to people but we'll see so that'll be good at least I'll be able to use my computer whenever I want to and charge up my devices okay he drilled a hole right there that's my water pump right here I guess I didn't know it was there look at this how, how they put things in the, these vehicles. That's my water pump. Okay. But he put the hole right there. And he went back to get the wire. And he said it's going to be easier. He didn't know that water pump was there. And neither did I. But it was going to be. Because of that it made it easier. Than he thought it would be. And this is what's going to go in there. 
the USB two and a twelve volt. Okay, check it out. He's got it hooked up. He's went back to get a fuse, and then he's got and something to tighten this to the side. And voila! That is going to change everything for me. Yep. And there it is. My new power source. It's a 12 volt on one side and uh, two USB ports on the other side. So that should help me out a lot. And I'm going to send the inverter back. And I'll probably buy a small inverter, 12 volt inverter to uh, plug in there to power my other things like my wireless speaker and, and just call it.